Welcome to the brand new episode of For the Tech Talk. In this episode, we dive into one of the top selling economic vehicles, but I perceive them not only to be economic, but very great to keep as a family car as well. So perhaps you have dived into this video because you are looking for a great startup vehicle that is budget friendly, spacious, reliable, and most crucially efficient in terms of fuel consumption to get the fuel price hike most especially in South Africa. I perceive that some may argue that should we even be concerned about fuel price hike as we are moving into the EV era. Well, it cannot be ignored that it's a great shift, so it will not happen overnight. But I advise drivers to brace themselves already for upcoming electric vehicles. So first on the line, we have the 6th generation Polo making its mark more visible in its segment once more. In South Africa, we have observed some VW models being introduced, supplied, and later discontinued, such as the Arteon and the Jetta. The final Jetta model supplied to South Africa was its 6th generation, and we have never got to have the 7th generation. It's obvious that the discontinuation of certain models was not out of good pleasure, but obvious that there was an unimpressive record of sales, quite hard to believe with certain models, but with the Polo, it's been 25 years of its existence in the market. South Africans have done nothing but dedicated to the Saikon. This year, the Polo gave its 6th generation a reimagined look, starting off with the optional LED lights that transpose all the way into the grille, updated bumpers, and some new alloy wheel designs. These LED lights have a matrix technology that allows you to drive with the main beam permanently switch on without distracting oncoming road users. Volkswagen's IQ drive technology feature makes its debut on the Polo, which is a smart feature that makes your driving less intensive. It provisions features such as travel assist, front and park assist, adaptive cruise control, which allows the vehicle to brake accelerate and steer automatically within the system limits. Its panoramic roof gives you a unique driving experience. Getting to the interior, the Polo features a climatronic touch aircon system, features control by knobs are now integrated on the touch display screen, allowing a cleaner center console. Furthermore, the Polo comes with three sets of infotainment systems, which are namely the composition color, which is a 6.5 inch display, standard in the 70 kilowatts and the 85 kilowatt Polo and the Polo Life range models. The composition media, which is a 8 inch display, standard in the 85 kilowatt, the R-Line and the GTI range models. The Discover media, which is a 8 inch and includes navigation, wireless app connect, voice control, wireless mobile charging, digital cockpit, and it is optional on the Life, R-Line and the GTI. I. Speaking of the range models, the Polo is available in four different range models, namely the Polo, Polo Life, R-Line, which is premium, and lastly, the GTI. The Polo and the Polo Life are powered by the 1-liter turbocharged 3 cylinders, producing 70 kilowatts and 175 Nm of torque, partnered with a 5-speed manual gearbox. The Polo Life again and the Polo R-Line models will be powered by a 1-liter turbocharged 3-cylinder engine, producing 85 kilowatts and 200 Nm of torque, married to a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox. The GTI will be powered by a 2-liter turbocharged engine, producing 147 kilowatts and 320 Nm of torque. The Polo GTI can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.7 seconds. On the standard Polo range models, one of the new fresh colors customers will be able to choose from is the vibrant violet. Price ranges of the Polo models remain competitive. The 70 kilowatt manual costs 311,800 rands. The Polo Life manual costs 350,000 rands. The 85 kilowatt Polo Life DSG costs 370,700 rands. The R Line DSG costs 421. 1,900 rands and the GTI comes at a price tag of 489,400 rands. As an alternative, one would run for the Hyundai i20, commencing at a price tag of 297,900 rands. Its base model is a 1.2 liter engine partnered with a 5-speed manual transmission. Available as well in the lower range is a 1.4 liter engine partnered with a 6-speed automatic transmission. Upper range engines are the turbocharged 1 liter engines partnered with a 6 or 7-speed dual clutch transmission. Its lower range models come standard with front and park assist, a rear park camera, but one can opt for an adaptive cruise control as an optional feature. Thanks for watching till this far and if you're new, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss out on anything right here, only on Auto Tech Talk. Cheers, God bless.